take a close look at what's on a search screen? How many of these fields do you use for your regular searches? There's a lot of stuff here. In fact, these are the most commonly used fields across the whole Bright footprint. But if you've ever wished that there was less scrolling, you know, fewer fields, just the things that you use every day, I have news for you. You can do that. It just takes a few quick steps to set up a custom search form with your preferred fields. So if you have a minute, let's get to it. Go to search on the main menu. And instead of going straight to the property type that you're interested in, let's take a detour over to your right and take a look to the column headed, create your own. You'll notice that there is a search form or template for each one of the individual property types. These are using the abbreviations for each property type and they correspond to the column on the left. So if you're not sure, for example, what the abbreviation is for say, comb, C-O-M-B, you'll notice that right beside it is business opportunity. Let's click on the My Res or Residential search form. Coming in, you'll notice that there's very little on this page. Just a basic map search at the top, and I have a few fields that I consider to be my most commonly used search fields. Let me show you how I added them. If you've ever used the additional field section on any of the property type searches, this is going to work just the same way. And if you haven't, it's easy enough to learn. Let's go ahead and click on the Add Remove link. Then we'll see the Frequently Used Field screen. And we'll have a column for available fields where we can scroll through and find the field we're interested in. This will contain just about every field you'd find on a property profile sheet. Or I can use the search box and type in what I'm looking for. So for instance, if I want to look for senior community, I'll type the first few letters, select it on the left, click add, and move to the right. Now if I'd like to change the order these fields appear in on my search form, I'll select the field, then move them around by clicking either the move up or move down button to change the order. Once I'm satisfied, I'll click the back button and there you have it, all presented on the screen for me. Each time I come back to my residential search form, this is what I'll see my default fields in my preferred order. Also, don't forget, this page includes the gear icon. So if you'd like to set some criteria default as well, then you can add that criteria. Click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner and then click set currently selected search criteria as my starting default and then I'll have that in place each time I come back to this page as well. There you have it, another way that I can customize and localize my search options to suit my individual needs. Now you know. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and hit the bell so you stay in the know.